tell me what to say. Hello! And welcome to another exciting new episode of Serious Nibbage with SBA Brown and Gourmet Pens! Gourmet Pens! Gourmet Pens! Gourmet Pens! Gourmet Pens! My actual name is Aziza, for those of you who don't know. Aziza! Aziza! So, okay. what was your first impressions of the pen? We haven't even shown the pen yet. This is the pen. This uh, is the pen. This is called the... <laughs> you do it. The I don't Delta, want to butcher it. This is the Chatterley Pens. Uh, this is the Chatterley Pen exclusive. Chatterley Delta Stantufo Marmo Incrinato Limited Edition Fountain Pen. This means that you can only get this pen from Chatterley Luxuries. Uh, Bryant, the owner, sent us this pen for review. It is a loaner. We'll be sending it back. She we sent it not... to you for review. Yes. We are just serious nibbaging it because exactly. it's very cool and pretty. Yeah, and we are not monetarily compensated for doing these reviews. It's just a review of a pen that we'll send back. All right, having said all of this, what was your first impression? Oh dear, okay. Um, <laughs> um, because this came from the US, it did not come with a box to save on shipping costs. That's totally fine. I'm sure sense. it comes in a fancy box. Yeah, so it probably comes in a, in a box and stuff with things in it. But uh, so my first impression of this pen was that it's, it's very pretty. So you can see that it has pretty stuff going on. And I like pretty pens. So immediately I was like, yes. And there is an ink window. And it's not um, as thick as the... Uh, Delta's oversize Dolce Vita or um, the other pen that may or may not have gone up before this one. I don't know if we've put that video up first. So the other Chatterley exclusive. So this is a thinner um, model. So I was already excited about this. I think it's super pretty and it's a more suitable size for my hand. So I was very excited. So first impressions were very positive and I was I was like, yes. Okay. Uh, when I saw this... Did I frighten you a little? No, no. My first impressions were... Wow! You know, this is a very impressive pen because I do think this really is a very, very nice material. It looks really nice. It's shiny. It's highly polished. It really looks like marble. It, it has a lot going for it. Not just is it a, a pretty model, but the finish is stunning. And there's very little you can say about it beyond that. It just looks really pretty. A very nice, warm, almost uh, toffee-colored brown. The, the nice uh, veins in it, it just looks really, really cool. So I was very impressed by the, the first looks. Now, what makes it special? Okay, well, what makes it special is a few things. One, it is a Chatterley luxuries exclusive so you can only get it at chatterleyluxuries.com second uh <laughs> it is a limited edition to uh, of 25 and this, this is 24 24 Ooh, that's exciting uh the other thing is um it it the the celluloid i i have the name of the other pen okay the celluloid was originally used on the um delta Cita reale and forgive me if I butchered that, and I'm sorry, I'm not Italian, and I don't know how to pronounce Italian things. So, but that's sold out, and um, so they've reused the material, and obviously, okay, at least to my taste, this is very beautiful. So, um, the trim is sterling silver, it's, it's a piston filler, uh, huge number 8, 14 karat gold nib, so I think those are the things that make it special. Yep, I agree. Yeah, and as I said, Chatterley Luxury, so you, you can only get it there. Don't, don't go looking for this at other pen companies because they will not have it. Yes. Uh, what was your writing experience like, or shall I go first? You go first. Well, it was good. Uh, really pleasant. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's, serious, it's, it's nice. Yeah, uh, medium it nib. It, um. it wrote well. Not excessively wet, not excessively dry. Just a well-tuned nib. A smooth, pleasant writer. I mean, Very... it is a huge nib. So remember yeah, the medium line this will produce is probably different than a medium line that, like... Your your pilot vanishing point is going to produce. Do you think width is a is a function of the length of the nib? What? Do you think the the, the line width is a function of the length of the nib? No, I, I I just mean it's a huge nib. But does that make it broader? 
Anyway, we'll figure that out later. Uh, but I don't know. I do think. I do think. Well, that I mean, the Pelican M1000 nib is significantly larger than the 200 series nibs. This is true. Maybe they just put more tipping on. Yeah, maybe they put more tipping. Anyway, the point was, it is a large. It is a large nib. nib. Yeah, it's a big nib, and I think it is an extremely pleasant section to hold. Really, I mean, it's simple, simple shape. Nice that the section is the same color as the barrel, and it's just, it's just amazing. It's really pleasant. It's big, but it's not too big. Unlike the, for example, Delta Dolce Vita Oversize, which is a really thick, it's girthy like really section. Beefy, yeah. This is a, it's beautiful and great writing. So yeah. I had absolutely no issues with that. I whatsoever. really, yeah, I agree. Writing experience for me was the same. The medium is, it's wet, but it's not, it doesn't gush ink, so it doesn't dry itself out. Um, it also doesn't blob on the paper, right? like it doesn't put down an excessive amount of ink, it doesn't take too long to dry. It's it's what you would, I think, want from a well-tuned medium oh. nib. So I, I really enjoy that, and as he says, this section is really a nice comfort design, and it's not too thick, so... I really enjoyed it. The length of the pen is very comfortable for me. I mean, it's just such a nice pen for me. Oh, God. Okay. Writing experience was very positive. What you love about it? Well, I think this material is just stunning. I don't know. I don't know what you guys, what do you think? Yeah? It's really nice. I guess you can't answer. Yes? No? Maybe? I think it's beautiful. Um, it's it's like a, a rich, creamy... Br it's like a like an affogato. Affogato? You know, with like your espresso and the ice cream in it. That's what it looks like with the, the creamy veins or like your ice cream and... Is it ice cream or is it whipped cream? I don't know. Maybe the coffee lovers out there could tell me. And uh, and the brown is like the color of the espresso mixing with the foam bits. and Anyway, it's really beautiful. I, I love the material. I love the size and the shape. I love the ink window. I think it's really lovely. I love the, the nib. It's just so great. I think it's a beautiful pen too. Very well made, writes well, looks well, and a particularly nice touch. Not only, not only does it have an ink window, but you can still see the ink window if you cap the pen. So even if you just have it in a pen pouch, you pick it up and you can quickly see if there's any ink in it. You don't even have to uncap it. Yeah. Eye for detail, really cool. Sterling silver highlights, beautiful clip with the little wheel the Delta does, uh, great nib, piston filler, uh, there isn't really much more to wish for. I think it's. I think it's. There's really a lot to love about this pen. What do you hate? Yeah. What do I hate? Well, it's a really. I know what I hate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I, I I don't really have a lot of things that I really hate about this pen or really dislike. The, the the threads are a little bit sharp, but apart from that, for me, this this is really a pen that is very close to perfection. So I don't have anything to hate. I wonder what you hate. The thing that I really really don't understand is the blind cap has what I think should be on the finial. I don't know if this is going to focus. Uh, the little logo, the nib thingy, is there, but it feels like it should be there. I don't know. It, you know? Hmm. I mean, it's not a big deal, and of course, that would not put me off buying the pen so much. Like, it's not like, oh, that's a make-or-break deal. But it feels like it should be on the top. I don't know. Is that weird? No, I mean, no, it's, it's like, why is it here? Well, the nice thing about this is that if you put it in a shirt pocket, you don't really see it. You just have the nice material sticking out. But yeah, maybe that's that why. Could be worth. Maybe that's why. Would you buy it? Yes. How much? <laughs> um, it is uh, five ninety five, and you could choose from a fine, medium, broad, and stub is a little bit extra, I believe, which is usually the case. Yes, stub is a little bit extra. Um, yes. I would. Yeah, this is one that I could buy too. Beautiful size, beautiful material. Writes well. If I were to buy it, I would pick a broad or a stub. Yeah. Just, you know, but I would buy it. Like, I would buy it too. Now, is it... If he had sent this with a broad <laughs> or a stub, I probably wouldn't be sending it back. Is it or is it not? Serious image. Okay, here is the snibometer. <laughs> no, I'm not snibometering yet. <laughs> Stop it! Stop touching my meter. <laughs> <laughs> Stop choosing. Okay, not serious. Serious, there's a little gradient there because there's no numbers because this is not an exact science and I'm gonna have to say this I think every time until we have established this. Alright. Okay. Um, it's very subjective and sorry that there's no numbers but we just can't make it a number system. Okay. Th this pen for me is... 
serious. And yes, I know it's expensive, but I'm crazy and this is my only hobby in life. Yeah, but you also, I mean, you're buying a luxury pen. It's a highly limited edition. There's only 25 of these, so that makes it a very restricted limited edition. It's a gorgeous material. It's a solid gold nib. It's sterling silver highlights. It's a, it's a piston filler. You're going to pay for that. You cannot pick this up for $20. So you pay a large amount of money and you get a high quality pen that's extremely well made. And that may not be for everyone, but in this case, I think you really get what you But I on. mean, we are basically talking, we're, we're, we're doing a video about pens, so obviously we're a bit crazy anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, please take that into account. I put it there too. Yeah. It's just, it's, I, as I said, for me, this perfect ink window and all, it's just really well put together. No complaints. Yeah. Now, if you were not going to buy this, but you wanted to buy something else roughly in this price range or comparable, what would you get? Well... You you basically have a lot of options at yeah. the price of five ninety five six hundred. You could look at uh, Pelican M eight hundred, Omas My Lord in the Arco or the um, or, or or even certain Paragon finishes. I think I'm not entirely certain about the price of a Paragon. Sorry, no. I think you could get a Paragon, not a My Lord, because I think the Paragon. No, no, My Lord. I think it's a My Lord. Sorry. Um, if you're looking for beautiful celluloid, you can check out some of his Contis. Uh, you could also check out a bunch of the other Chatterley exclusives yeah. because he's got quite a few uh, exclusive limited edition stuff. There's a lot of options. With some beautiful materials that are very tempting. So, um, cool. Yeah, there's quite a few options. You could look at uh, uh, 140, Mont Blanc 146, um, or you can get a whole bunch of Ahabs. A lot of Ahabs. And give them out as gifts. Or Lamy Safaris. Um, yeah. I think you're looking at something like 27 Ahabs or something. Okay. So that's a lot of Ahabs. Yeah, but the point is that at this price, you have a lot of options. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's really. It's obviously a luxury pen. Yeah. Luxury piece. And, and that's what you're going to pay for. It takes a certain grain of crazy to buy pens like this, and I think a lot of us out there have it. Now. Bryant, thanks a lot for lending us this pen as well as the other one. Both will be returned to you immediately after shooting this video. It was a pleasure to review them Absolutely. and hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos. Yeah. If both have gone up already and if this is the first one, hopefully you'll enjoy this one at the next one. We hope this was useful. Yeah. I used to be a banker, but I lost interest. And that's all that's to it. Bye! I have to live with him.